Hi guys. So today is our first lesson. As I promised that we are going to start doing explaining some process of our sewing. So at first I think we need to take measurement before anything. We have to take measurement. So today what I'm going to do is to explain to you step by step to take the measurement. First thing for us to take the measurement, we need a pen, pen or pencil, just depend on what you have in hand. We need a tape measure, we need a paper, because you're not going to hide your measurement in your hand, meaning we need a paper for that. So we do have some standard measurement. And we also have the basic, like the measurement that we take from the person. So, I don't want to take my lesson so long. We can start taking our measurement. What I will ask you is, I don't want to be specific, like showing you that we are going to make skirt, we are going to make a black suit, we are going to make a top, no. I would like you guys to ask me some question to tell me what do you want us to show you. If you have a challenge in making skirt, we can start with the skirt. If you have challenge in making anything, pillowcase, um, bed sheet, divet, dress, anything we can do it to show you from start to finish. So I'm going to call Sibongile. She's the one that will help me to show you how we are taking our measurement. That's going to be our first lesson for today. Take our measurement. You know, Sibongile, she's facing me. So first, I'm showing you the basic, the basic measurement. Our basic measurement, we start with the bust. When you are taking your bust measurement, make sure that your tape measure must be in the point here, the two points of the bust. So you take the measurement there. Like for Sibongile, we can say that her bust is 43, is what I can say. It's my paper. So we are writing here. The name of the client, let's say our client name is Sibongile. Don't forget to write the date. Today is 3 July. 2021 and then we write our basic measurement is the bust Sibongile bust is 43 I will explain to you why am I taking the measurement with inches I will explain to you and then our second measurement is gonna be the waist we have waist normally the normal waist is our belly button that is our normal waist so Sibongi the normal waist is 38 inch 38 inch is her normal waist we write our 88 then the third one is our hip so we are taking our hip when you are taking your hip make sure that you scroll your tape measure don't just leave it in one place you scroll your tape measure the measurement for Sivongile is the hip is 46 so to be sure that it's 46, 
try to take your tape measure out you see so we still in 46 so the hip is 46 all this we are taking inch why am i taking the measurement in inch it's because if you want to know your size even yourself if you want to know your size let's say you say that you can say no me i'm wearing 28 or 26 or maybe 38 how are you going to know 38 we use inches the measurement of your waist in inches is that your size but some other people you can see that the waist is 38 the hip is 30, 46 bust is 30, 43 don't mind about bust and hip no mind about your waist work with your waist if you need to know your measurement maybe you'll ask me but what about some other people they have big hip so in that case is when we talk about customized measurement as in the industry we don't use the customized we use the standard measurement if i'm gonna cut my garment a size 38 so i'm gonna use a standard measurement for size 38 if my 38 doesn't fit sibongile meaning she will go to size 40 and if she go to size 80 40 since her waist is 38 meaning we have to adjust we have to adjust here if she has a big hip so beside these three now i'm gonna show you the measure the other measurement that we need to add this one is just standard so if let's say we need now to make dresses like uh, book two like one shoulder a dress for plus size because for plus size we don't use our normal uh, waistline so i will show you how to take our extra measurements now first thing we have to start with the chest here so here the chest for sibongile is 39 inch so right our 39 inch we take this measurement if when we are making book two and when we are making book two something again sibongile is 39 but when you are making your book two don't take it exactly 39 because if you take exactly 39 your book tube will be like pulling down so you will take 39 minus one inch why because when we are waving our book tube we want it to sit here nicely so the one inch that we minus is the one that will make a uh, book tube to sit properly the second measurement we are taking the underbust. So, this underbust, why are we taking underbust measurement? Most of the time, we take underbust measurement when we are making, especially me, myself, I, I take underbust measurement when I'm making garment for plus size. Because plus size, we don't like to show all this. We don't like to show all this. So my waist will end there, especially if I'm making like a flat dress, because as plus size we don't like uh, like pencil dresses. Depend on the person. So we take our under bust measurement, meaning this is our second waist line. The first waist line is the belly button. The second waistline is under bust 
the underbars most of the time they use it for plus size so if you're gonna take now the measurement from shoulder to underbars or shoulder to first uh, uh, waistline what you will do you can have something like it called or you can even use two tape measure if you don't mind what you will do you will just take your cord like this you put on here you tight the so this is our under bust then you take your tape measure you start from the shoulder line here you're gonna ask me how did i know about the shoulder line if you touch each and every person have a bone here so this bone is the one that's showing us a standard measurement for shoulder our shoulder starts there to this bone you can touch yourself you will feel that you have that bone so starting from there so i'm gonna take my measurement passing through my bust to that under bust line where i put my in. so the under bust for sigongile we can say is 15.5 inch shoulder to under bust Shoulder to under bust is 15.5 inches. The other measurement, if you are making like a maxi dress, you already take from shoulder to under bust. The second measurement, so it will depend. We can take from there to knee. If it's a normal length, you will take till there. If it's a three quarter, three quarter, what you will do, you will measure your knee till the ankle. You will divide the measurement from knee to ankle by two. That's going to be the length of your three quarter, either skirt or dress. Meaning, you will measure from there. If it's three quarter, if it's knee length, you measure your knee length. If it's three quarter, you divide the measurement by two. Your three quarter is gonna be there. If it's a maxi dress, you go till where your client want the dress. If she doesn't want the dress to flow, meaning you go, let's say, till here. You see? You go with your tape. Leave your tape measure free. Don't touch it like to pull it. No, just leave your tape measure. You see, so headdress from under bust to ankle is gonna be 45 inch. 45 inch from under bust to ankle from under bust to me is 28 under bust to knee is 28 under bust to three quarter is 34 34 under bust so three quarter length then the other measurement that i will show you is how to take the sleeve length many people are making mistakes when they are taking the sleeve length they just come i can say because you can start from there you start from there going straight like this because this length you will minus the length of the shoulder you minus the length of the shoulder which i show you from our neck here where the neck start to the bone 
so if you take the full length like this you will just minus this measurement and then what will remain there is the length of your sleeve but the tricky is what if you take your sleeve length when Sibongile is putting her hand straight like this when you make your garment you will notice that the sleeve is going to be short when she do the movement like this so when we are taking you're going to take your customer or even yourself when you are taking your measurement especially for long sleeve always take the arm like this when you are doing this i'm gonna show you so you will start from your bone here you go there you come there till where you want your sleeve to end here is 25 inch so even if sibongile do this you will see that my sleeve gonna be 25 is there if she does this you will see that we come back but if you take it straight let's see we take straight you already the sleeve length is 23 so try to do what i say okay wait can you touch here for me yeah so you see i can't even pull my tape measure I can't even go there because my 23 is here so i can't even pull my tail already my sleeve gonna be short but if you do this she break it like this you come and do this so you will see that the length is gonna be short even she can do whatever she wants never her sleeve gonna be short like mine because mine is three quarter yes but if it was long sleeve, even if I do this, you see that my sleeve still gonna remain there. So, another thing, you're gonna ask me how to take the armhole measurement. The armhole measurement, we take it from the back. So, from the back, there's another bone here. If you touch yourself, you will see that there's another bone there. So what you will do is exactly the middle of your bust you bring this here half of your bust but you take the measurement at the back not in front so we do this then you come here here you measure from there up to here it's not half of my bed no you will put your line the wire there you divide the bus exactly on the point of your bus you measure there is a bone there you put your tape measure you come till there meaning the arm wall when we gonna cut Sibongile dress you will see that for a size 38 sibungi, her armhole is going to be 11. Standard is 11 inch. But with seam allowance, everything, we can still add our 2 centimeter. That for the armhole. Then, if let's say we need to make a polo neck, it's just simple you can take the neck measurement you just put your tape measure all around here you you measure her neck which is i can say with inch 14 and a half inch her neck if you're gonna take the shoulder always take it at the back not in front you start from this one to this so there's made all the measurements are there in our body so you just take the passing to don't come like this no passing the to this other board the 
and then you end it to this other bone there meaning sirongile shoulder is 18 inch because if you take like this you see from bone to bone is not 18 already you take out the neck measurement since our dress will have the neck measurement you have to go from bone to bone to bone so that is our measurement the standard one that i can show for today i don't know if i'm missing anything if i'm missing anything in our next video please don't hesitate to ask me any question as uh, we are a cmt we make garment from scratch we can you can sketch you come with it we'll explain to you the whole process we can show you which material to use not like showing suggesting because each and every person know which material to use for his comment so our next video what i will show you is to prepare our cutting table to prepare our sewing machine nice scissor always keep your tape measure with you we'll cut a dress we can cut a maxi dress we can cut a tricota we can cut a short dress to show you to update our measurement into the fabric and see the result all of us thank you so much for watching us see you in our next lesson Thank you.